In this video, we're going to learn how to import a movie file, convert it into layers, and then convert those layers into a video file where each layer is a frame of our animation. First, we're going to go to File Import, and we're going to select Video Frames to Layers. We're going to select our movie file, and the Import Video to Layers menu is going to ask for the range to import. We can select from beginning to end, or we can select a specific range. Now, when you move one of these lighters, either the beginning or the end, you can trim the amount of video that you're going to import. So I'm going to select this much of my video to import. When I let go, you will notice that the thumbnail goes to the beginning. We can play to see what the video is going to look like. By default, make frame animation is selected. We're going to deselect this and we're going to click on OK. Ignore the large document warning. Now you will see in your layers that Photoshop has brought every single frame of your video as a layer. So this video right here has 336 layers. Also in the timeline, notice that we have an animation layer. Next, we're going to convert our timeline from an animation timeline into a video timeline. And we're going to go to the bottom left of the timelines palette. We're going to click on this button that will convert this into a video timeline. Now what Photoshop has done, it has selected each layer and created an individual clip. The only problem is that each clip is the length of our animation. So when we hit play or we scrub our playhead, you will notice that all we see is frame 336. Next, we're going to convert all of the clips created into a one frame clip. And in order to do that, we have to select all of our frames in the timeline. The easiest way to do this is to select your actual layers. So select the top layer, hold shift, select the bottom layer. And in the timeline palettes option, we're going to go to convert frames, make frames from clips. If we zoom into our timeline, you will notice that from frame one, all the way at the bottom to frame 336, you will notice that all of the clips were converted into a single frame clip. What we need to do next is we need to trim our video. So I'm going to go to frame one and notice that frame one is at the beginning of our timeline. And if I go to frame 336, you will notice that after that, we still have some empty video areas. If I zoom out, you will notice that we have all this extra video with no information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my video by moving what we call the set end of work area down to frame 336 and I zoom in. What we're going to do next is we're going to select all of these individual frames and put all of them in one video group. In order to do this, we have to make sure that all of the layers are selected. And then we're going to go to any of these layers right here. We're going to click on this triangle and we're going to select new video group from clips. If I zoom out, you will notice that now Photoshop has selected all of our frames, all 336. And now I'm going to slowly move the scrubber to the front of the animation, making sure that there are no gaps in our green line. This means that every frame gets rendered. We're going to hit play. And this is how you convert a movie file into individual frames in Photoshop. 